there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be working with an animation die cut set from Uchi's Design. This is one of two videos I'm going to make reviewing some of their products. This is their small animation envelope kit and here I'm showing you everything that comes in it. You're going to get the uh, printed transparency grid as well as a stamp to go with it. And then all of these other elements are going to cut out a gift card sized slider element that you can put on cards or just slide a gift card in the back of. To start out, I've taken a 12 by 12 sheet of paper and trimmed that down to 4 by 12. Here I'm going to be cutting out the part of the kit that's going to make the pocket that the slider is going to fit into. And the paper I'm using is Hello Sunshine by Pink Paisley. Once I have that cut out, I need to find the center of that front panel so I know where to place the die cut to create the window that we're gonna see the animation through. So as you'll see, the die cut for the pocket leaves two flaps that you're gonna fold over and then close together. You'll understand as we move further. Make sure when you're measuring that you're only measuring from score line to score line and not from that very top corner. Now I've got that panel cut out and you'll see here I'm going to fold down those flaps and hopefully that'll make it a little clearer. <laughs> okay so now I'm going to line up my stamp. The Misty is really helpful with this. These stamps are a little tricky but once you get the hang of it it's you'll understand it and you can do it a hundred times. So you can see some lines on the stamp. What I'm doing is I'm making sure that those lines are measuring up straight top to bottom on the grid in the Misty. And then once I have that, I'm gonna close my door down and then I can stick in a panel that I created from Nina cardstock. And this panel measures two and one eighth by three and a half and that's gonna slide in that pocket really easily. So I'm stamping that with Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink and I stamped this three or four times. You want to make sure that you get a nice crisp image. It's going to look so much better uh, when it's in the window. Here from some coordinating paper, I'm cutting out a tab that I'm going to add to my slider panel. And I'm using the two rounded square dies, nesting those together to make a frame to go outside of the square that I cut on the front panel. I've cut my transparency panel in half lengthwise and then in thirds. So if you cut it correctly, you should be able to make six different uh, pockets with the sheet that was included in the kit. So uh, basically I've cut mine to two inch by two inch. Here I'm lining it up over the opening in the front. I have used some temporary adhesive there. You're not gonna need anything stronger. And this way, if it's not quite straight, you can redo it. What I did was, I did my best to line it up with one of the white lines on my craft mat and that seemed to work really well for me. Here I'm using some score tape along those flaps. Then I'm gonna fold those flaps in and the back panel over to finish off the pocket. And here I'm going to attach that tab I cut out to the side of the slider panel. Now, depending on how tightly you close your pocket, you may have to adjust the size of the slider panel. Mine was just slightly too 
tight. It wasn't sliding smoothly. So I trimmed off about a sixteenth of an inch on each side. And there it slides perfectly. I'm using multi matte medium to attach the frame I cut out around the window opening. And I did set a stamp block on top of that just to help it dry. And there you can see the finished animation. I wanted to share with you quickly, uh, when you're using the larger die cut to make the pocket, if you're using a piece of paper that has a right or wrong way, you want to make sure that you have the side of the pocket that has the flaps on it facing in the direction that you want to pull your slider from. So there you can see me cutting this paper the wrong way, and then when I realize that, I'm cutting it the right way. So you do have the option of a right or left-handed slider and the pockets are made exactly the same way. There are a few different finishing options for the pockets and I wanted to share those with you. Here I'm using one of the dies that has a half circle cut out of it and I'm just lining that up along the edge of the pocket and you'll see here this creates an opening for your fingers to move the slider and you won't have to use a tab or a tassel or anything like that. It's, it's very easy to work with. And here I also wanted to try stamping in a color to see if that would work with the grid. And it does work. I think the black is a lot easier to see. It's a much, much crisper picture, but you definitely can use a colored ink with this if you'd like to. So here I wanted to play up the camera theme of my paper. So I used the two nesting circle dies to create a ring or a lens to go around my window opening there. Now this die that I'm using, I'm using it the same way as I use the half circle, but I don't think it's what it's meant for. I think this is to be used to make a slider panel that has a tab already attached, but I thought I was going to give it a try and see how it worked. So as you can see, it works great. Um, there was quite a bit of white showing there, so I went ahead and used a coordinating yellow washi tape just to give it an extra pop of color, and this one actually turned out to be my favorite. So this is the final finish I'm going to show you today. Here you can see I'm using that same die cut to create a tab edge. And there's also a die that just has curved edges. So you could create a slider that has this tab and then curve the other end of it to sort of complete that look and just use that as your white panel. I decided I wanted to do an accent color. So I trimmed this down so that it would fit behind my slider. And then I'm going to attach that, just leaving the edge of the tab sticking out for easy handling. While I'm finishing this up, I just wanted to quickly mention that the butterfly and sunglasses stamps I used are not included in this kit. They were a part of the stamp set that came in the May 2017 Simon Says Stamp Card Kit, and I will include a link to that below. 
I had a lot of fun playing with these animation stamps and I hope I was able to answer any questions you might have had about working with them. Close-ups of the sliders and a full list of supplies can be found at my blog post listed in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.